Hello friends, today we'll learn about the oceans of the world. An ocean is a huge body of salt water. Oceans cover about 71% of the surface of Earth and contain almost 98% of all the water on Earth. There is only one world ocean but it is divided into five major areas. Let's see the ocean divisions one by one. At first, we'll see the Pacific Ocean. Okay. The Pacific Ocean. It is the largest and deepest of Earth's five oceanic divisions, covering about 50.1% of the world's oceanic water. It spans 60 million square miles from California to China and in some regions extends tens of thousands of feet below the surface of the water. The Atlantic Ocean. It is the second largest of the world's five oceans and covers about 23.5% of the world's oceanic water. It separates the continents of Europe and Africa to the east from those of North and South America to the west. The Indian Ocean. It is the most warm and third largest of the world's five oceanic divisions, covering about 19.8% of the water on Earth's surface. The Arctic Ocean. It is the smallest and shallowest of the oceanic divisions, covering about 4% of the world's oceanic water. It is covered by an ice cap, which makes it a spectacular haven for fish and marine life. The Southern or Antarctic Ocean. It is the youngest one and covers approximately 1 16th of Earth's total ocean area. Together, they all look like one ocean because they have no actual borders and water flows freely between all of them. Ah, you cannot drink this water, buddy. Ocean water is salty. Let me explain why the ocean water is salty. Salt in the ocean comes from two sources, runoff from the land and openings in the seafloor. Rocks on land are the major source of salts dissolved in seawater. Rainwater that falls on land is slightly acidic, so it erodes rocks. Be careful, winds and some other forces cause ocean water to be constantly in motion. Winds also cause ocean water to move in waves. You're clicking pictures of these beautiful tides. They are another way that ocean water moves. Tides are the rise and fall of ocean levels. A cute crab is coming. Let's study about the ocean life. There are phytoplankton, the most common ocean plants. Various types of seagrass and other plants also grow in the oceans. Seaweeds, or the plant-like forms of algae, are plentiful as well. Oh, look there, a blue whale. It's so huge. Blue whale is the largest ocean animal. So many types of animals live in the ocean. Those include crabs, squid, dolphins, and many different kinds of fish. Some animals live on the ocean floor. Let me show you the ocean floor. It has so many levels. Look here. This large landmass is the continent. The shallowest part of the oceans are called the continental shelf. This is the continental slope. Here is the seamount, volcanic island, and it's the submarine canyon. This part is called the continental rise, which is made up of thick sequences of continental material. Here you can see the plain. This lowland region is Rift Valley, and here are the deep cracks known as Trench. You can copy this for your assignments. The world's oceans are very important to life on Earth. They're a great source of food for people all around the world. They also provide minerals, oil, and natural gas. Oceans help to keep climate stable by storing heat from the sun. So, you should not pollute the oceans. Now you know a lot about the oceans of the world. Stay tuned for more videos. 
Bye-bye.